being able to do this and being able to buy when the val- when the price of the company goes down but the value stays the same will make you millions upon millions of dollars. We've all heard our mothers ask, if everyone jumped off the cliff, would you? I know it's a huge exaggeration, so let's tone it back just a little bit. If everyone took a test in high school and everyone picked the obvious wrong answer, would you continue to do that with them? There's a famous psychological experiment called the Ash Conformity Experiment. In this experiment, a bunch of students were asked relatively easy questions. In this group, all of the students except for one were chosen actors. It's very similar to the sh- the movie or the documentary called The Push on Netflix by Darren Brown, which I highly encourage everyone to watch. Now those actors are following exactly what the, psycho- the psychologists in the experiment want them to do. So in this experiment, these contestants were given two images. And in those images, there were one, one was one line and the other image was three separate lines with different heights. And they were all asked, for example, which line in the three line image matched the one in the first one. Now, the actors were told to give the obvious wrong answer to it. And the question was, how would the one person who was the real participant going to respond to that? Would they change the result, their obvious thought about it based on what everybody said, or would they give the actual answer? So on average, about 32% of the time, the participant who was the actual participant went along with everybody else's response. It was very obvious. Literally one card had this line, another card had this, had this, and had this line. And they said, which one did it match? It was clearly this and this, but the participants who were actors would give this answer or this answer. And 32% of the time, the person who was the actual participant, the non-actor, would agree with these answers just because the group did. Running this test over and over with other participants, 75% of the time, 75% of the time, the actor would go along with the answer that was clearly not the right answer. Only 25% of the time did an actor go completely against it and say, no, you guys are wrong, it is this one. It has been a wild few years in the stock market. More and more people have gotten gotten into investing, but I think more people would call those type of investors more getting into a casino-like area. People all over were pouring money into the next big thing. Bitcoin, EV, all of these little niche areas that they could see these investments going to all-time highs, but that didn't actually happen. Other cryptocurrencies saw tons of investments coming in over the last two years as well as, you know, the EV stocks. At the time, it seemed like those crypto and EVs were going to be cannot miss picks. They were going to go to the moon and they were not coming back to earth. If your friends brought up their investments to you, it was likely because they were making an absolute killing on them at the time. Dogecoin, Tesla, Bitcoin. And it seemed extremely easy. Everyone was doing it. This was a modern day, get rich quick scheme. And all you had to do was go in your Robinhood account and make a couple of clicks. When these cryptocurrencies and hype companies were at their peak, I heard nothing but everyone, average Joes, kids, everyone who had no business investing, hyping up these things saying, look how great I'm doing. Look at my performance. I am killing it. Now, Do I still hear some of that? Very little, it's still on the crypto side and it's usually people bragging of, oh, I got into crypto a lot earlier, I'm still in the positive. So that tells me that the big hype and big bubble is probably pretty close to being done, but we still have a lot more to weed out. The obvious truth is there's no such thing as a get rich quick scheme. It does not work. It is not possible for the masses in general to get rich very quickly. It is impossible. Building wealth takes time and takes discipline. Everybody out there will talk about how everyone in the world wants the shortcuts and all these things, and they don't realize it's them when they follow these get rich quick schemes. It involves too much risk and too much downside for the average person. You work eight hours a day, five days a week, 52 weeks out of the year. That's 2,080 hours per year. You work too hard for your money. Why go put it in these risky investments that are likely to go to zero eventually? Sorry to tell you this, it's most of the time a huge scam. And we actually see that too. Look at how much crypto in the last year or two has become frauds, scams, and all these things. I don't even mention all the cryptocurrency firms that have gone under because of fraudulent behavior. Here at Everything Money, 
we have a very contrarian view for you. Get rich slow. Back in the 70s, Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger had a good friend of theirs that was forced to sell his shares of Berkshire Hathaway at $40 a share. The stock is currently at $450,000 per share. And their comment in hindsight was, we always knew we'd be rich. He was just set on getting rich very quickly. We were not in a rush. We knew we'd have more than we ever needed, so why rush it and take on risk we didn't need to get something that we didn't need? Now, getting behind this strategy will not be easy. Just like the actors from the classroom during the Ash experiment, most people that you come across in your life are going to take a different path. They are going to want that get rich quickly. And it is gonna be very difficult not to follow the crowd. In the world of investing, you're gonna hear some crazy things. You're gonna hear noise from every which way. Just like how you heard that Dogecoin was gonna be the future. Tesla was accepting Dogecoin as a form of payment. And you don't believe us? Just go to YouTube and search past videos. That's all you need to do. So ask yourself, where are they now? I remember back in the dot-com bubble when I was seeing all these hypesters, all these, and I looked today, I cannot find a single superstar.com investment manager around today that was around back then. And back then, everyone said something very familiar. Warren Buffett's past his prime. He's too old. He doesn't get it. Essentially saying it is different this time. Spoiler alert, it's not. To become a good value investor, which actually, by the way, Warren Buffett believes all good investors are value investors. It's not just about finding great companies at good prices. It's about having the temperament to be able to withstand the ups and downs in the market. If you find yourself chasing the returns on the way up, it's going to be very, very difficult to avoid the loss on the way down. And in fact, you can't avoid those losses. The market will go up and the market will go down. But if you believe that you're going to be the person who exits the theater when it's on fire first before everybody else, everyone thinks that. At the end of the day, it's not the way it works because we get sucked in over and over when the market goes up, comes back down and goes back up again. We go, oh, it's fine. We're on our way back up. Even when it starts to go like this and come back, we say, oh, we're on our way back up again. So many people buy these companies without looking at an income statement, a balance sheet, a cash flow statement, and that's fine. The problem is, how do you know it's a good buy here versus here versus here if you don't understand the fundamentals of the business? If you can't understand that, you should not be buying individual stocks. You can still make a lot of money from dollar cost average and a low cost ETFs. But to buy individual companies, you have to know what you're buying. Just like when you go buy a car, when you go buy clothes, you try them out first. You understand what you're buying to make sure it fits for you. Finding a process that works for you comes down to one thing, putting in a little bit of work. Can it be a lot of work? Of course, but we have found that just doing a little bit of work can give you the advantage long-term in being the market. Being the market is simple, it's not easy. The hard part about being the market is the temperament needed to withstand that the fact when stocks go down, you buy more because it's a better value. But the key part there is to understand what the long-term value of the company is. And that takes an understanding and a process that we are here teaching you on this channel day in and day out with our videos that we make every single day. You need to value a stock the same way you'd value a business. If your neighbor owned a car mechanic shop and said, come buy my business, would you just say what price do you want and pay it? No, you'd ask to see financial statements. You'd ask to see their balance sheet, everything you needed to make a determination of the value of that business. The same thing with a stock. You have to determine the value of the business. Now, the unfortunate part about the stock market is every single day, Mr. Market is telling you what the market perceives the value of the company to be. Your job is to decide if Mr. Market is crazy, irrational on the high side or the low side. You're either a buyer or seller of the stock at those prices. That's the job that you have when you value the company. Being able to do this and being able to buy when the, value, when the price of the company goes down but the value stays the same will make you millions upon millions of dollars. But again, it's simple but not easy. We've all seen the charts of great companies that have fallen big time and the mispricings of those companies over time. If you're able to do this and do it well, I guarantee you that you will have more money than you need in your lifetime as long as you save appropriately, handle that process, and if your goals are to leave money to your family, that will leave generational wealth to your family in the long run. Remember, 
Warren Buffett didn't start out as a millionaire or a billionaire. He started out with $5,000. In fact, his first partnership, he raised $101,500. 500 of that was his own money. Guys, none of this is gonna sink in overnight. It's a lot of information and that is okay. It's completely normal. But as you dig deeper into the world of investing, you're gonna find out that staying away from the crowd is quite comforting and you become a student of value investing. And we can promise you that you're going to see exponential growth. The thing that triggered it for me was that when I realized that when I'm buying a share, I am buying a piece of a company. When I buy a share of Apple, I am owning the exact same thing that Tim Cook is owning. Tim Cook is looking at all the financials. We are looking at all the financials. And this, this is what gave me the best piece to be able to sleep at night. Fortunately for you, you've stopped at the right place. We have an identity to our channel and it's all process driven. It's independent of what the big think crowd thinks. Learning a process, becoming a good investor. You can see that we have over 2,000 public videos diving into topics about different types of research into stocks, how to interpret the stock market, as well as hundreds of individual stock analyses. Being a value investor, the only downside to it is always being perceived to be wrong. When stocks are going up like crazy and you're not buying it, people tell you you're wrong and crazy. Those same stocks when they're down this way and you're buying them, people tell you why they're wrong, why you're wrong. And the reason being, is the news follows the stock price. Whatever the stock price does, the news will follow whatever justifies that, not the other way around. So just remember that. We've seen it in every single company that we buy. When we didn't buy it at 300 and we bought it at 120, people said, yeah, but what you don't get is, insert BS story there. So if this makes sense to you, there's a very easy way for you to get all these tools that are necessary and get better at the temperament. Join our community. This community right here also, has thousands of people inside of it. Everybody is there to help them out with temperament. Whenever I see a stock fall a lot, I see this is great, this is awesome. And sometimes people get a little worried and others say, remember, if you believe the value of the stock, you're here to be a buyer of the stock when it falls. This whole process with all the tools, including Stock Analyzer tool, which was used 1.3 million times by our users back in 2022, real estate calculator that's coming, the retirement calculator to make sure you're on track for your investment goals, the eight pillar process, it's all here in the software. So go out to everythingmoney.com, check it out. Remember, you're not alone in your investing journey anymore. That is the hardest part. When I was first starting a value investor, it was difficult because I was alone. I had no one to guide me. I had no one out there to support me and say, you're doing the right thing. All I had were the readings of Buffett and Munger. Now, even I use this community to sit there and get ideas from people and get ideas of what makes sense in the value investing world. So if you want an ability to reduce your fear and increase your returns, the community is for you. It's a dollar a day, risk-free. Try it for a month. If you don't like it, email us, money back, no questions asked. Check out everythingmoney.com.